I am limited in what information I can provide as this investigation remains with ACERT. However, last night one of our officers was faced with one of the most difficult situations imaginable and was required to use lethal force. I can't go into all the specifics at this time, however I can tell you that in general the actions of our officers are often dictated by the actions of the people we are dealing with. Just before 9 p.m. last night, we were called to an apartment building in the 600 block of 68th Avenue Southwest. Uh, this call was in reports of a man yelling and screaming and throwing things in the second f second story bow or sorry sorry pardon me the second story hallway. Officers arrived on scene and attempted to speak with the resident, a man in his 40s. After half an hour of negotiating and using various de-escalation techniques, the situation suddenly developed. The man jumped from his second story balcony and confronted officers. At approximately 9:30 p.m., an officer-involved shooting occurred. Although I can't get into the specifics, I can say weapons were recovered at the scene. Officers provided emergency first aid to the man until EMS arrived on scene and he was transported to the hospital in life-threatening conditioning. He died later that, that evening, last night. Uh, no officers were injured as a result of this, uh, this encounter. The subject officer is a 10-year member of the Calgary Police Service. The man involved in this incident has no criminal history, however, we have had interactions with him in the past. We come into contact with numerous individuals on a daily basis outside of criminality. I am not able to get into specifics about our involvement with this man beyond this. Although our members are incredibly well trained, they are put in some of the most difficult, dangerous and dynamic situations you can ever imagine. I am extremely proud of the work they do day in and day out to keep Calgary safe. All members involved in this incident have the full and unequivocal support of the service and the executive. We will continue to make sure all of their needs are addressed for their well-being going forward. Take any questions that you may have. Where were the weapons recovered? Sorry? Where were the weapons recovered? Uh, I, can, I can say that uh, the weapons were recovered at scene and those details will come out from ACERT uh, throughout their investigation. Can't say we can that um, that's something that ACERT will have to uh, have to provide. The uh, member that uh, fired the, the shot, is it a attack team member or a patrol member and what weapon was used? Uh, I won't get into the, the details of, uh, of the weapon again. Uh, respecting ACERT and their investigation, that information will come out. What I can tell you is a patrol member was involved. Can you talk about what kind of confrontation there was and this person confronting officers, what happened there? What I can tell you is that we were called by citizens uh, for a disturbance in this apartment building. Uh, uh, as mentioned, uh, an individual is yelling, screaming, and throwing things in the uh, uh, in the uh, the hallway of this apartment building. Uh, again, more details will come out from from ACERT as they uh, they carry out their investigation. Was this person <coughs> Again, uh, as I've mentioned, that uh, he has no criminal history. However, we've had interactions with this individual in the past. But I think it's very important to say that we police officers come into contact with citizens throughout our day-to-day our -day activities outside of criminality. And again, I won't get into any furthers. Um, this information will, will, uh, will come out through the investigation. Can you say if drug use was involved? Uh, again, I'm not uh, in a position to, to address anything further. Uh, what I can tell you is that uh, uh, it's a, a male in his 40s and uh, he's resided in Calgary for a period of time. Is there anybody else in the apartment with him at all? Uh, uh, again, those, inform that, sorry, those details will come out through the investigation and th from ACERT. Is anyone harmed by this man's actions inside? You know, uh, uh, again, I, uh, I can tell you that a disturbance call was, uh, was called in and that information will come forward. Sorry, earlier this morning he, he passed away. And he was in a proper time? Uh, I believe it was around 2.30 in the morning. How did the negotiations take place? Was it by phone or was it through a door or yelling up to him back and forth? How did that all transpire? So when our officers respond to these types of calls, and depending, their, uh, you know, every call is unique and every, every situation is the, the environment of that situation is, uh, is unique. So our officers will approach a situation and use their tactics and training uh, to try and contain uh, um, 
uh, a location and try and contain an individual within that. Uh, and that can be through, uh, through various distances or, or, or various barriers. Uh, communications in these, the, uh, the, uh, the level of communication with our officers and the individuals involved is critical. Uh, and our officers did their, their very best to de-escalate this situation, to use strategic communications throughout this, to uh, engage uh, this, this individual in, in, uh, in different forms of communication. Um, and as, as, as I mentioned earlier, oftentimes uh, it's outside of the officer's ability to, um, to control that. Um, what are the next steps for this officer to be on the street? As with uh, with officers in these situations, uh, they're uh, they're provided a uh, leave period, 30-day leave period for the service, and the intent of that leave period is for their well-being. It's a very very traumatic incident. Uh, uh, can only imagine what uh, the impacts that has on a, on an individual involved, the officer involved, the family member, the community, uh, and we want to ensure that. Uh, that those interests are well looked after. They have time to process, um, to to deal with this, uh, and and then there's various health checks to uh, that they go through to ensure that uh, that they're being uh, being well cared for, well looked after before they they return to active duty. Did you say how long this officer has been with the force? A ten year member. Okay. Sorry if I'm making you reiterate here, but um, this gentleman was known to the police, but did not have any previous charges. No, what what I'm saying is. Uh, the, the individual has no previous charges. Um, we have had interactions with in, this individual in the past uh, outside of, of, of criminality, outside of uh, criminal charges. Uh, so what I'm saying is our officers come into contact with individuals from the community for various reasons throughout the course of our duties. Has this officer been involved in any other uh, police shootings before? Officer no, shootings? Not that I'm aware of, no. Again, those details will come out from ACERT. Again, I apologize that that information will all come out from ACERT.